Just for Moms Mondays, brought to you by the sponsors of MomsEveryday.com. Welcome to MomsEveryday.com. I'm your host, Jen Lennon. Today I'm joined by Joe and Sheila Mayo. They are both volunteers with CASA of the Pikes Peak region. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Now, we know that April is Child Abuse Prevention Month, and you guys are very heavily involved in CASA, which is a wonderful organization that helps children who might be in need. So, Joe, for people who aren't familiar, exactly what is CASA? What's its mission? A CASA is a court-appointed special advocate. Okay. Uh, somebody who's received uh, specialized training and serves, can serve as the eyes and ears uh, of the judge. So this would be in a situation where um, you might, a judge might think that some children need some extra support if their family is going through a family court situation, right? That's correct. Uh, there's uh, hundreds of children that uh, are involved in uh, neglect, ca neglect cases mm -hmm. and uh, that get involved with the court system or uh, the Department mm -hmm. of Human Services. So Sheila, you are volunteers though. This is not a profession. No. You guys volunteer your time. What prompted you to want to volunteer your time to be a CASA? Well, I was aware of CASA through a friend of mine who okay. volunteers, and so I was interested, so I talked Joe in to go with me, and we decided it was for us, and we decided to work as a team. Well, and that's the interesting thing, is that we have interviewed some folks who are volunteers before, but you guys are actually a team. Yes. You work together with a family, right? Yes. Joe, describe what that's like and, and why that works for you. Well. Uh, there are several things. One is we, we do work well as a team. Okay. Better than separately. <laughs> uh, also, uh, because of the confidentiality, it's very difficult if you can't talk about something. Okay. And working as a team allows us to talk to each other right. about what's going on. Uh, we have a different perspective. We see a situation and we see it differently. And that's always good. And then lastly, uh, there's a, a large emotional component to doing this job. Sure. And we can emotionally support each other. And you have raised children together and you have grandchildren, so yeah. I suppose this is probably kind of comes naturally a little bit to you, right? Being this team? A part of it, yeah. <laughs> That's wonderful. And Sheila, so working together, was this overwhelming at the thought of where to start being a CASA though? I mean, is there a lot of information you have to have or how does the training work? Well, the training is very thorough okay. and done with professionals. It's, it's 40 hours. It's quite a commitment. Wow. And the amount of information regarding the courts and the, the, uh, all of the therapists and caseworkers and foster parents and extended family. I mean, it's, it's overwhelming all the information you need to have. But uh, the beauty of it is afterwards you have always a supervisor to work with. Mm -hmm. And there were people that we could shadow mm -hmm. and then we could have a mentor. And so it wasn't as if after the training you were supposed to be an expert. We were still getting help now. And, and we have support groups that we go to. So it's very well structured, but that is a lot of time. So Joe, why do it? Uh, we feel very fortunate uh, in our own situation with our families, and we'd like to help other families that aren't so fortunate. Mm -hmm. And so it really is about these kids, right? You just finished children. working your first case, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. The first case was over two years with three children involved, and we're happy to say that all three are very happily in a loving, caring family situation now. And the reality is there are always more requests from judge than you have volunteers, right? You always need more volunteers. We need yes. more volunteers. Yes. So people can come out and do this as a team like you guys, right? They can. Yes. They, it doesn't have to be husband and wife. It could be mother and daughter. It could be Good any friend. team. Good friends. So we hope people will learn from your wonderful example today and contact CASA. Thanks so much for yes. being here. You're welcome. Thanks for having us. And for more information about CASA of the Pikes Peak region, you can go to our website, MomsEveryDay.com. Thank you for joining me today and every day. I'm your host, Jen Lennon, for MomsEveryDay.com. Moms Every Day, weekdays on KKTV, is brought to you by the sponsors of MomsEveryDay.com.